better. Live from better. New York, it's a oh, show that had perfect. surgery and now has a steel plate. A bionic man. Below their never a doubt <laughs> tattoo. Yeah. It's first things first. The reinforce never a doubt. <laughs> that that has been through a lot. Yeah. Works out That's though. right. We start with Dak's contract. The general sentiment was that there was an extension coming down the interstate. Jerry did say he was all in on extending the players who are currently on the roster. But Florio, he sees it differently, writing, with no ability to tag him in 2025 and no apparent inclination to extend the deal now, the Cowboys seem to be willing to let him finish the contract and see what happens. Oh, would this be a smart move by Dallas, Nick? It'd be one of the boldest moves <coughs> we've seen a team make under the current salary cap constructs. We have not seen a team willingly allow a healthy, his age, Pro Bowl level quarterback just hit free agency and roll the dice with it. And so it would be borderline unprecedented under the current, you know, salary cap structures, franchise tags, right. all of that. But I've got to tell you, I would like it. Oh. I, I think there are a lot of different ways, and you guys know I feel this way, but I will reiterate it, to win the Super Bowl in the NFL. Obviously, the easiest way is have one of the two greatest quarterbacks ever, Help. Mahomes <laughs> and uh, Brady, right. because they have won a disproportionate amount you know, in the salary cap era. But if you don't have one of those guys, there's a lot of ways to do it. Young quarterback. Oh, you're the young, cheap quarterback, mm -hmm. mid-level quarterback with an amazing supporting cast, mm -hmm. below average quarterback with this amazing defense. We've seen a lot of different yep. versions. The thing we have not seen is mediocre quarterback on superstar quarterback money. And if we look at, and this is a bunch of numbers being thrown at you real quick, I'll just put it up and I'll walk you through it. The key here is that's their cap hit and the rank. Mm -hmm. So Mahomes and Brady were able to do it with top five cap hits, make the Super Bowl. Mahomes won it, obviously, back-to-back -back with the second and the highest. The only other one that if you're the Cowboys going to extend Dak, you're like, Matt Ryan 2016 with the third highest cap hit, but that year Matt Ryan won league MVP. They had the Shanahan system, all of that. There really isn't a <clears throat> precedent for it. So I just feel like... If Dax right now, if Dax agent right now is saying, starts at 60 million a year, right. guys. Starts at 60? Yeah. The reports are he wants. Yeah, 60. 60. I mean, that's what, it, that's where it would be, Wilds. Is, and that's what I've been telling you guys, that it would be three years, 180 to start with almost all guaranteed. I might roll the dice instead, Brew, and risk getting back on that quarterback carousel rather than lock myself into having to tear down a team so I can pay the ninth or 10th or 11th best quarterback in football like he's the first, second, or third? Mm. Well, first of all, we have to realize this may be spin, okay? This may be uh, the Cowboys putting this out there to sure. the media, right? Because this is being reported in a lot of different places sure. that they may be putting this out to the media to try to get some leverage because Dak has all the leverage, okay? Sure. That said... I don't – I'm kind of with you. At first I was thinking, oh, they got to sign him. They got to extend him. Because I don't think they should, like, be willing to move on from Dak, even though he is eighth, ninth, whatever, yeah. somewhere between six and ten or eleven as far as quarterbacks. Um, but, if see, the thing is, if they let him play out this year and they don't win the Super Bowl – it's not like they can't re-sign him as a free agent. Correct. And this is where I think it's starting to make sense. Because at first, when I first started seeing these reports, I was like, look, they got to sign him. You don't want to go from that five, six-year stretch where you were between Troy Aikman and Tony Romo. And you're just searching for a quarterback. Yeah. All right? They're not good enough. As good as they are, they're not good enough, I don't think, to have like a bad or mediocre quarterback and really be a contender. Mm -hmm. So I want to keep Dak. Okay? But. If this year it's sixty million a year, which is those what the reports are saying, Kirk Cousins, and I guess you weren't. Are you looking at his age? Is that why you didn't? Cons okay. Yeah, because he's thirty six and coming off an Achilles. Right now he just got forty five million. Yes. So what if they let Dak play on this prove it year? They go out in the second round again. He's okay, whatever. But they want to bring him back. They let him enter free agency. 
Is somebody giving him sixty million question. a year? He somebody might the most he might get with might be fifty two million a year. So you you're better off signing him next year as a free agent, I think. Unless you win the Super Bowl and you're willing to pay him whatever. So it, financially, it could make but, sense for them. So that's, if I may jump yeah, back no, that's in. What I was the, the, this is where I think the leverage could flip back to the Cowboys. Right now, the leverage is you can't tag me, you can't trade me, I'm going to be a free agent, my cap hits enormous. My, if, you're, if I'm not on your team because of how you structured it, you have $40 million in dead right? money mm -hmm. next year, all of it. If the Cowboys were to... I don't want to say call that bluff, but be like, we're just going to let this year play out. Then it comes to, then this happens. How much is being the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys worth to Dak Prescott? Because I, I, I was thinking he's about. He's not nearly as big as he is right now if he's playing for another team. Exactly. That's my point. And so, and what are the teams that we think would be in the market? for a quarterback a year from now. Because a lot of them are, you know, the Patriots, for example, we think are drafting a guy this yeah. year. We know the Bears are. So I made a list, by the way. Tennessee could be, if Will Levis Absolutely. is gone. The Raiders, if they don't draft a guy, mm -hmm. are on the list. Seattle, maybe. Okay. And then potentially both of the New York teams. You didn't put the Broncos the in The Jets there. and the Giants. I think the Broncos Peyton. are drafting a guy this year. Okay. But the Raiders or Broncos, one of them will be. So the two New York teams are intriguing yeah, as possibilities. Can, right. But everywhere else, if I'm the Cowboys and I'm saying Dak Prescott, man, if this is about winning, we're in a better position than Seattle, Vegas, or Tennessee. And if it's about money, how much more money are they going to pay you that is then going to cost you in that you are now the Tennessee Titans starting right. quarterback right. So versus you're the done Dallas being Cowboys? A celebrity. Exactly. And you're going to the AFC in that the, scenario. Right. Stay and, in the NFC. And so I know I, I'm kind of picking those teams, but there's not, there's only 32 teams. We know 25 of them would not be in the market for Dak. Look, but, oh, only a few teams uh, went out. Not, nobody was willing to break the bank for Lamar. Yeah. Okay, so I do think if they let it, I know he wanted the fully guaranteed deal. No, but I think. But let Dak go out there next summer, next offseason. I don't think anybody's offering him sixty million. Only if so you were willing smart. to go out for Kirk too, um, when he yeah. was available. So the question is: Is Dak the guy? And as you said, no. uh, how much is the star in your helmet worth? So this is Josh's graphic about the cow. Uh, excuse me, the last two Cowboys quarterbacks, Romo and Dak. Very similar numbers, mm -hmm. and we've seen Romo sort of walk into a king's fortune on broadcasting. He's a solid broadcaster. Some people have some uh, uh, constructive criticism for His popularity has ebbed and flowed, but p some people love him, some people don't. That's the life of But work. I think it would be silly to look around and say, all right, there's a handful of major networks, and one of the, two of them, between Troy and Tony, are... Mm -hmm. Headed on the broadcast because they were, you know, right. Cowboys quarterbacks. Are all those? Is he getting all these deals off the, you know, non-football no, deals if he's on the Titans? He's not. I, I've said this, and I know it, it's like anathema to take less money, but he should. I think he should be like, look, less fifty-three a year, fifty-two, fifty-three million a year. So he hasn't delivered. Especially if you can then and take that money and win a Super Bowl. Right. It helps but, you keep Mike. I know they're going to keep Mike and CD anyway, but it helps you keep them and get them extended now. I, I just think, I, you know. I just would really not if I were Dallas. I he, Dak is not. Dak is old enough. And it, I would not be so terrified of, oh, my God, what, how awful we're going to look if we let this guy leave. Like that, there is a level. So you of, think there's a possibility yeah, of that? I'm, I, I'm saying they're keeping I, him regardless. I think that, for example, I believe Trevor Lawrence is going to get his extension this summer. If people believe Dak is, but just follow me on this, because <laughs> I think I might be able to convince you. On okay, this. I'm listening. Even if people believe Dak is better than Trevor, one of the things Trevor has going for him is because of his age <laughs> and his draft position, the idea for the Jags of, oh my God. If we ruin this relationship with this guy and he goes on to reach that full potential elsewhere, that is the type of mistake you can't recover from. 
I don't think people are worried about that with Dak. I don't think there's a concern of, oh, my God, if at 32 he goes somewhere else and reaches another level. I think we know what level Dak is at for good or for bad. And so because of that, I think the Cowboys, if they're willing to deal with the potential distraction of this year, of him being, you know, in a you know free agent year, and the cap hit of this season of $55 million, I think the smart move, the prudent move, mm. might be to wait and see rather than tie yourself to him at the, at a 55 plus million a year for the next the half The concern, I, I would think, would be falling off as a team. Like, who, who's the replacement? Well, well, that's the thing. Right now, they don't have one. You'd right? have to go find somebody. Look, you the, can go. You can end up going a decade without a good quarterback. So the, that that would be my concern I mean, if I'm the, the Cowboys. The, the other side of the coin is, like, having two good quarterbacks for the last two decades has not netted a Super Bowl appearance. They're relevant. The, the, oh, we talk, no. We're talking about them now. We talk about yeah, them all the time. But we'd be, I think That's we'd, all Jerry was. I think we'd be talking about them if Trey was their quarterback. I don't think we I, I, we weren't when they when they Not missed if the playoffs. Not if they're six and eleven. Yeah, they'd have to be I six mean, and eleven years, a lot of years in a row for us to not talk about them. And so I, I think the Cowboys are going to stay relevant. They would have to really plummet to l lose relevance. Uh, Chiefs lose a star. Well, Jerry Sneed famously made this game uh, changing plays. Zay Flowers lost the ball, and well, three months later. Chiefs lost. Well, Jerry Bruce Sneed. still not over it. Every time he sees this I mean, highlight, they, Bruce, I'm just, Bruce, Bruce can't. it's a great play. It wasn't a mistake. I'm more it's upset kind of by his trash talk. 60-40 mistake slash great penalty. play. Uh, trade to the Titans for a third-round pick next year. Seventh-round pick swap. Here's a look at Sneed's best games where QBs tried to get the ball to Garrett Wilson, A.J. Brown, and Stefan. Didn't work. And look at the note. Uh, no touchdowns allowed all year. Yep. Uh, now he's on the Titans. Huge loss. But... It's a significant loss because he's a great player. And I want to say, listen, Legarius Sneed is a mid-round pick, paid, played four years with Kansas City, dealt with personal tragedy throughout that time, and before he got to the league, won back-to-back -back Super Bowls. And on this last Super Bowl run, I think made the single biggest play of any player in any playoff game, the one we just showed. Mm -hmm. I think as far as, like, win expectancy, swing the whole tournament, yeah. that punch out on Zay Flowers was the biggest play anyone made the yeah. entire postseason. So shout out to him. I'm also glad Kansas City didn't give him the deal Tennessee gave him. I'm glad he got it. Twenty, but a tw he's. It's weird because of how old he was when he was drafted. Versus he was Chris, he was old. Chris yeah. Jones is 29. Sneed's 27. But Jones is considered like an old player, and Chris and Sneed's considered a young player. A 27 year old with a p questionable knee at a position the Chiefs have sh – the Chiefs let Kendall Fuller walk. He went to go make a Pro Bowl and right. played well. Chavarius Ward, let him walk. Mm -hmm. The Niners gave him a bunch of money. Honey Badger, let him walk. The Chiefs clearly believe they can draft and develop this position, and Sneed's yeah. an example of it. Yep. He, wasn't, he wasn't McDuffie a first-round pick. And so going into this offseason, I never thought it was realistic they extend – Chris and Legarius. I thought maybe they'd let Legarius play on the tag. They, you know, they, they, that ended up not happening. So I'm not going to act like this is a net positive for Kansas City for this season. But I think it was the prudent move and the move a lot of teams have trouble making. A lot of teams forget having if they had just won the Super Bowl, if they just had any success, they're like, we don't want to lose any of our contributing guys. Mm -hmm. This contract was, for me, a little too rich for my blood when I think McDuffie's about to get a massive deal at the same right. spot. And I'm happy for Legarius. So it's, it's a loss, but it's a position they can deal with it at. Yeah, look, nobody's going to sit here and say, oh. They can't win the Super Bowl now after what we just I saw with that receiving would, court. I like to Maybe in so September, yeah. but not now. Yeah. Um, I don't think they got enough for him. I mean, a third-round pick, essentially a third-round pick. Yep. You got the pick swap, pick swap. Couldn't they have let him play out this year, and then they would have got a compensatory pick if he had walked? Well, the a third-round compensatory pick. Maybe, but the compensatory thing, at then that, that would have to mean they don't sign free agents themselves because it's a formula. So it's not as cut and dry as if you lose a big free agent, you get a compensatory pick. It's if you lose a big free agent and don't sign one of your own, then, it, it, then you can get a compensatory yeah. pick. But theoretically, but what they wouldn't have brewed if they did that, 
this opens up 20 million in cap space yeah. right now they that they need to, need to sign their own guys or, or mm-hmm. extend they guys or whatever it is. Yes. Yeah. I, so look again, he's a very good player. Um, they got McDuffie there. I think they have, as you said, had a history of replacing defensive backs, and so I, they'll be fine. Um, I, Tennessee is. Man, they what's stacking Tennessee up. up to? They, are they, they believe in love. Yeah, they do. They're well, putting everything around him to make him successful, so we'll see. And, and I think, just real quick, I think one of the reasons that he only went, pardon me, for a third-round pick was because of the contract. Yes, absolutely. You know, like, so Snead, if, the, if Snead were, you know, available still on his rookie deal, mm-hmm. I think it would have been realistic that the Lions might have given up the 29th pick of the draft. Certainly a team oh, would have yeah. given up a second rounder. But because it was trade for him and then immediately yeah. give him almost $20 million a year, that obviously hurt what the trade yeah. return was going to be. Um, okay. <laughs> That's a little... A little jumbled, what, what he said. Your reaction, bro. And grew. speaking of which, I just noticed the smiley faces, so I'm with you. Oh, on his outfit? <laughs> yeah, I just okay. noticed that. Okay. I, I thought on it was like outfit. a white yeah. sweatsuit yeah. until that. Uh-huh. Um, look, you guys know my take on these quarterbacks. I'm not saying he's the best. That's clearly an overstatement. But there have been enough quarterbacks who were the third, the fourth best quarterback in their draft, you know, according to draft position, who have emerged to be great. Yeah. And so I'm not going to sit here and write him off. I do think he has tools. He's accurate. He's smart. He, he doesn't make many mistakes. He's got a little bit of athletics, like a little sneaky athleticism, enough athleticism. Um, and he's shown that he's a winner. The only real knock I see against him, and I'm, again, I'm not saying he's better than Caleb or Jaden or any of that, but the only real knock I think you can make against him is why didn't you throw the ball more? Yeah, of course. And then he had games throwing it 30 times. I mean, I mean he, he did the have some. Championship. And they, like, that's well, the thing. They, maybe that was just their strength. They knew they were a great running yeah. team. But, I mean, honestly, I think – that's really the only knock you can say. And it's fair. Why didn't you guys throw more? Well, no, the other knock is I think if people watched the games, there weren't a lot of people that watched it and said that guy's a future top five pick. And while you're poo-pooing Jim Harbaugh, there's a probably a one in three chance that J.J. McCarthy is your next quarterback. The idea that J.J. McCarthy might end up going. Is, I'll fall it, in line the, if that's the case. It, 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 which is absolutely <laughs> on the board. He could go two to Washington. Unlikely but possible. Three to New England. I, I don't even want to say unlikely, Who's but wouldn't falling? be my we're, bet. I don't, we're not taking the, J.J. over Jaden Daniel. No okay, possible I, way. Okay, I, I guarantee you right now there are teams that have J.J. rated ahead of Jaden. I don't know if the Patriots are one of them, but just because of the frame of Jaden Daniels and the stylistic questions. But regardless, if he gets through the top three, then you are talking about the Giants, Denver, or Minnesota trading up to four or five with the Chargers, four with the Cardinals, five with the Chargers, to get him. He's going to go super high. Here's the problem. I don't get it. And we had Mark Sanchez on on Friday. I asked him if he could explain what I'm missing. And Mark Sanchez, this is to me what I would call damning with faint praise, when I was like, hey, what is it about J.J. McCarthy, the player, that I'm missing? And here's what he said. You don't have to get all 32 teams to love you. You don't. You just need one. And you want one team that happens to be pretty good, hopefully to move up and draft you. That's the best situation. So what he said is you only got to trick one team. He didn't he only say trick. Get, he the, said the, and, and what, more than one like him, though. No, I get it. And I, I'm with you. It's, it's a little odd it, just because he didn't throw it a lot in college. But is that why Harbaugh is really win. going to bat? It's like my game plan to get a national championship involved a lot of running the ball and not a lot of throwing the ball, airing it out. I would have liked to have heard him say that, to be honest. But they didn't win the national championship the year before. And you would have thought they could have done – they were a really good team, obviously. I People say that, oh, Harbaugh had Andrew Luck and didn't throw with that. When, when Luck played under Harbaugh, he threw the ball 29 times a game. Then Harbaugh left, and the next year Luck threw the ball 31 times a game. So they were throwing it 29. J.J. was throwing the ball 21 times a game. The, the, and, and a lot the, of – well, it's, the, the one game he only threw it eight. That right, but that was down, one of their biggest games game. of the year. The, and that, that was, wasn't Harbaugh. No, Remember, I understand that was, that was, that was, that was more – so, but that's almost more to my point. The guy who was filling in for Harbaugh was like, all right, I can't screw this up. 
Let me just run the football. Yeah, the ball, yeah, Let works. me just run the football. But it I, works. I, like, the guy won, so. I, I'm not going to kill him. I mean, because he, he – I, look, intangibles, it looks like you know I'm a big intangibles guy. Looks like he has those. I just – I'm not a big fan of the pro day. Can we just – what are we doing here with these pro days? Well, can I, can People I ask should a be question? Leery after Zach. I just, what are we going to do? Yeah, just Zach, look we'll at this pass. So they all look <laughs> there's the no same. defense. No, no, I agree with that, but just give me 30 seconds. Go. What are we evaluating them on then? I don't know. That the team won the title? Well, that helps. That, no, but that's. No, well, you watch enough tape. I mean, but I'm saying I watched the Michigan games. Hey, he was not eye popping. You're now saying, understandably, forget the pro day. It's like, all right, he didn't throw very much in college. We shouldn't do the pro day. So this is based on what? His interviews? That he's good on the chalkboard? Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I know Harbaugh, who is sitting at five and desperately wants a team to trade up so he can rebuild that team, has been selling this, selling that J.J. McCarthy's a transcendent player for a long time. Leave a receiver on the board. And it would, <laughs> right. It, 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 it is right. in his interest for someone really? to want to trade up for quarterback. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.